All right, guys, Fuller coming to you with another video. I hope y'all are doing well. You know, it's raining here right now, so I decided that, you know, while in the comfort of my own bed, to give y'all some of the things I use in, in regards to, you know, keeping my body intact when it comes to the damn, um, you know, protecting it, playing offense, because, you know, when it comes to the coronavirus, as it's very, listen, if you get that shit in California, your chances are few and slim of getting the actual help you need for that thing to actually take place, for you to be, give a complete recovery. So you're pretty much on your own. So you have to do things yourself in order to avoid having to enter into a hospital, you know, because that's the last place you want to go. I don't know if you saw one of my videos, my previous videos, but that security guard just broke it down and he told me some horrible things, man. And so I'm like, man, I do not want to be part of that. So the first thing I have right here is the Sorel. And the thing is about the Sorel, what I like to do is I like to put Sorel with what I'm about to show you right now. I like uh, using Sorel and also using, um, I, I like using it with uh, cloves. And I also like using ginger in it as well. And I also am about to show you what else I like to make with it. So I kind of like to do like blends. You know what I mean? This this Sorel, you use it with a tea blend. Like you do a Sorel tea blend. And this is good. It's good for like, I want to say just keeping your, your, um, how should I say, keep, keep you from catching colds and keep you from you know having sinuses having allergies and things of that nature and it's damn tasty as well that's the one thing about that's the one thing about um this damn sorel it's tasty when you put it with cloves when you put it with ginger and then you put it with allspice and then what you do is you boil the leaves you put all those things in it and then you strain it and then you once you strain it it's gonna really taste good it's gonna hit you know in fact i'm brewing up some after this video you know with the next thing that i'm going to show you so this is boy bond now boy bond you know they say that it's it's an aphrodisiac you know the reason why i use it is i use it for the energizing factors you know what i mean because this thing is known to give you energy. This thing is known to give you a boost, but it does have that other thing too. So the only downside to this is if you are a man, you you might you may want to if, if you can't control yourself, you may want to have a woman near you so you can go ahead and you know you can go ahead and get that situated. You know what I mean? because this thing it helps with circulation you know it helps with joints and things like that but it also helps with the you know unfortunately the only side effect with this is that the blood is going to flow to you know that other part <laughs> but anyway though if you're on the go you should be fine you know it's a good thing to use you can like i mean this is something i would do before like my boxing or whatever the case may be so this is a good thing that you can use next we have sea moss and sea moss you know this is the kind of things that you're going to blend with some milk and then on top of the milk that you blend it with you're gonna add some you know, you, you may want to sprinkle some nutmeg on it. You may want to sprinkle some cinnamon on it. I mean, there's different ways you can make it. The way I make it is I take some sea moss and then I soak it. And then once I soak it, 
I soak it for one day. And then what I'll do is I'll blend it with it. I'll blend it usually with some kind of milk or something like that. And then I'll put some I'll put some nutmeg and some cinnamon in it. You know, there's another way you can make it. There's another way you can make it. You can uh, make it by um, boiling, actually boiling the sea moss. And then by after you boil it, you can blend it up and you can kind of turn it into a gel if you want. And I mean, sea moss gel serves a lot of purposes. You can actually use sea moss gel to, um, how should I put it? You can use sea moss gel as cosmetics, but you can also drink it too. You can drink it as well. You can drink it, mix it with something. You can mix the gel with another one of your drinks and you'll be good. And the reason why I do the sea moss is because, you know, they say that sea moss actually has about 92% of the nutrients your body needs. I think like 92% of vitamins are found in sea moss. Don't quote me on that. But I just use this kind of like as a multivitamin. You know what I mean? But it does also have um, energy, energy giving uh, properties. But it also has, it's good for brain health. You know, it can like enhance that. Because there's there's one tweet that actually the rapper Meek Mill made. Meek Mill made a tweet. He said, you know, I'm feeling smarter. I guess it's the sea moss. You know what I mean? So it does, it does enhance your brain. You know, it does, it does enhance it. You know, and I noticed that when I, when I have it, you know, it does do that. It makes my brain work like, you know, it make, uh, let's just say it makes my brain move. Now, here's the thing that you have to be careful when you buy CMOS. Like this one is, is 100% wild crafted. You know, you have some people who are unfortunately now using CMOS and they're actually growing CMOS in pools. You know, they're not actually getting it from the seas. Now, this one's a little bit different from the ones I've gotten before because the salt is removed from this one. You know, they kind of uh, got rid of the salt particles on this sea moss. You know what I mean? But I'm still going to soak it regardless if the, you know, the salt chronicles or, or particles are not there. I'm still going to soak it. But last but not least, I drink this when I'm not doing anything. And it's called Bakut leaves. Now, Bakut leaves, the thing is about this, I am i don't have any bowel problems, like any bowel movement problems, right? But this thing clean, cleanses your blood. This thing does actually clean your blood out. Um, and it does lead to, it is kind of like, it serves as a laxative kind of thing. You know what I mean? So this is the one thing that, you know, although it does cleanse the blood, it does have the effect of, you know, actually being like a laxative, you know what I mean? So this is something you want to boil and drink at the house when you're not going to leave the house because, you know, God forbid that you leave the house and then, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you, you want to like just basically blow up five or six bathrooms you know and i'm not saying that it will get to that level but i'm just saying that you know if you are a person who you know has you know like bow who goes often even without these things then i, I would suggest yeah of course um i would definitely suggest um drinking this at home you know, and this, you boil it into a tea. You know, you take the leaves, you boil it into the tea. What I like to do is I boil the leaves. After I'm done boiling leaves, I strain it. And then I put honey and sugar in it. And it it's a pretty uh, tasty tea. But anyhow, that's all I got from now. These are, the, these are just some of the things that I use that help me. 
You know what I mean? That I like to use. These are just some of the few things I use. You know, God said, you know, eat of the good things of this earth. And so that's all I try to do. And I realized that, you know, a lot of the good things of this earth, and especially a lot of the good things that are meant for black people come from either African or the Car Caribbean. You know, and I, um, and I did videos in the past where I have my cola nuts from Africa. You know, I showed those off as well. So, you know, these are just things that we take up, you know, like we, we just take them and use them, you know, and most of the time they're available at our Caribbean stores or you can just go to the, the website and just order them that way, too. You know, you can just go to Grenada Market or whatever, the, whatever Caribbean uh, marketplace has a website where you can order. You can just do that, you know, if you can't find it nearby. But anyhow, man, that's all I got. I mean, do y'all use anything? Uh, let me know in the comment section. Let me know if you guys have anything that, you know, may complement these items that I have, you know. Because I'm definitely open to suggestions. So just let me know. Fuller signing out. Good job.